America has fought many battles over the centuries. Battles that are distinguished not only for their causes, but for the brave generals that have led them, often against crippling odds and opposition. Whether the cause was for liberty, equality, or national security, great leaders have emerged to spearhead the victories which shaped our nation. For almost 50 years, the United States has fought a different kind of war, a battle whose youngest casualties are marked by perhaps the greatest injury of all, a societal dismissal born of poverty and prejudice, and an exclusion from the future promised to those of privilege. But great injustice breeds great leaders. In El Paso, Texas, a young girl emerged from the city's humble Segundo Barrio to champion the fight for academic equality in early education. Her name is Blanca Estelle Enriquez. Never forget what poverty and hatred can do when you see its scars on the hopeful face of a young child. In 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson announced a war on poverty in his State of the Union address. Project Head Start was established the following year by the Office of Economic Opportunity to assist impoverished and disadvantaged children in achieving the same level of early education as their peers of a higher economic majority. In 1966, Project Bravo acquired the El Paso Head Start program. But conflicts in management and public scrutiny eventually threatened the future of the program. And in 1986, Project Bravo lost its grant for Head Start. It was then that the Education Service Center, Region 19, and former director John Uxer set their sights on the struggling program. In the late 1980s, the El Paso Head Start program was a risky endeavor, which other organizations hesitated to embrace. But Uxer thought he had the perfect candidate on his staff who just might be up for the challenge, a young and enthusiastic bilingual education consultant named Blanca Enriquez. For Enriquez, the challenge was just one of many along the journey that would later make her one of the most recognized Head Start directors in the nation. While juggling a family and a doctorate pursuit, she began a systematic and carefully outlined transformation of the Region 19 Head Start program. Her all-inclusive team approach to management quickly gained her the support and respect of her employees, who soon absorbed her enthusiasm and vision. The very first day that I saw Dr. Enriquez was back in 1987. And uh, I saw her. They introduced us to Dr. Enriquez. And when they introduced Dr. Enriquez to us, well, I said, that's the new Head Start Director. How I see Dr. Enriquez is a very intelligent, smart lady. Um, with all her knowledge and all her wisdom, I think she's brought a lot to this program. She, she knew what she wanted, and she looked for ways of getting what she wanted. You know, and, and I think that's been the motivator for these years, all of the years that we've had the Head Start program, because she thinks to the future. She doesn't just think about um, what's happening now, what's happening now. It's always in the future. What are we going to do? How are we going to make it better? And she's always been that way since the beginning that I've known her. You know, very smart lady. Under Dr. Enriquez's leadership, the once diminutive El Paso-based program reestablished its vital connection with the community and expanded to 35 centers, serving over 4,000 preschoolers, infants, and toddlers in the El Paso and Hedspeth counties. It employs a staff of over 800 employees 45% of which are former Head Start parents, 
and now includes services to fathers, teen mothers, and undereducated parents. It also boasts the first ever on-site interactive preschool children's museum in the city and possibly the nation, the Intelliseum. From humble beginnings, through personal loss and unimaginable challenges, this daughter of immigrants and former teacher has become one of the most influential leaders in early childhood education, creating a model of the Head Start program that has gained national recognition from the Secretary of Education to the President of the United States. Today, Dr. Enriquez continues her fight for quality and equality in early education, measuring her victories in the faces and futures of the children she serves.